Friends, it's Agnes coming to you with the two football reforms from Dollar Tree, some bottle cup and maybe some kind of stand or candlestick. I cannot believe this 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 project was sitting in my camera roll for the longest time ever. It's actually a year. Well, you know what? It's time. So I am going to share it right now. As you can see is I'm trying to remove the bottom portion of my uh, football reform, just the last bars. I mean, my tools are maybe rusty, but you know what? They are doing its work. And I have to tell you, those bars are super uh, tough. So now all of it is removed. And as you can see, is I do have some little areas. I mean, obviously I was not able to cut as close as I want to, but you know what? I'll deal with it later. So look what I'm trying to do. I'm going to actually try to connect and line up those uh, bars from two football reforms, a little bit with uh, a wire just so it holds together obviously gluing it it's not going to work and if you are figuring out what i'm going to do yes i am creating my own little net out of the uh the football reform so now that's all corrected and obviously i made the crisscrosses there so my lines are as close as possible in line on both ends but you know what it, as you can see is they were not perfect so now I decided to protect my fingers as I'm going to be decorating and I'm going to use, I called uncraftable little beads, wooden beads for the ends of it. So that's super easy. A little bit of the hot glue and put the bead right on it. And you don't really have to worry now about those sharp edges. So see, there is always a solution to anything that you do. And the uncraftable beads are super useful right now. Okay, so my dome is ready. So it's time to spray paint it a little bit all around. Uh, because I do not really want it to have it um, green. So that's super easy. It takes a little while to dry, but that's okay because we are going to work right now on the uh, base of our cage. So I do have a bottle cup that actually perfectly fits right into that cage. And I do have the uh, Dollar Tree candlestick that I am covering right now with the Mod Patch. I'm not expecting a big miracles there, but there's two things about it. If you cover with the Mod Patch, um, the paint sticks a little bit better and I'm using the chalk paint. Plus, if I get lucky, I may actually get some crackle to it. So I'm trying to be super gentle right now covering my um, whole bottle cup with the chalk paint. And then I'm going to just quickly dry all this up and hope for the best that I'm going to at least get some crackle on my base. Tell you the truth, I actually do like the way the glass looks right now. I don't think I'm going to be really hoping for much of a crackle, but let's just see. So a little bit of action with the um, heat gun because obviously that's what forces the paint to crackle. And I'm hoping that I'm going to see some tiny crackle there. And let's just see. Yeah, there is some. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I'm just going to continue on drying and now it's time to decorate. So if you follow me for some time, you do know that I absolutely love me some Mackenzie Child pat my child's pattern. So I decided every other little, you know, um, um, wave on my bottle cup, just simply paint it uh, uh, with the black paint must check some uh, blog posts um, on my page for more details on how I'm going to do it. So then I found a little snowman that if you flip upside down, they actually make an awesome little nap and awesome little detail for the top of my cage. So I've added another gold uh, wooden bead. I've got it a little bit of a bling. Now, do you see the snowman? I'm actually holding the snowman's head and I'm painting the bottom of it. <laughs> Can you see it? Well, you know what? The girl got to use whatever the girl got to use. And of course, the girl got to add some liquid gold leaf all around it. I'm not going to add a lot. I'm not looking for a lot of patterns, but I am. So, of course, because my brush was already wet with the liquid gold, I decided to highlight a little bit of um, the edge of my bottle cap. So it does all nicely ties up. And of course, as I was added, I added a little bit to the candlestick and all that stuff, but just very gently. So now it's the assembly time, a lot of hot glue, a lot of um, E3000, 6000, sorry. And of course, now it's time to glue them all together. That's it. And our base is done. So let's check it out. What's going to happen? The moment of truth. Look at this. Boom. Fits perfectly, even with the tiny wooden beads. And now I'm just going to squeeze the little topper right on the top, and it's done. 
to check out the pictures. How cool this looks. I absolutely love to display my succulents. So this is the leftover of my succulents, but I change this seasonally depending on, you know, what I like to showcase in my little cage. And now look at this, even my little uh, assembly with my uh, Halloween decoration, my fall decoration is super. Now look, if you're going to place a little wreath inside there, how awesome that looks for let's say spring or even the early fall. I absolutely love um, this cage and I love how versatile that is for anything that you like to do with it. It's because my picture is crawling and I do not know how to make them stand for you to see it in the full glory, make sure to check my blog post uh, where all those pictures are standing still. But now let's look again. As you can see, is I've added a little bit of a gold to some areas um, of my cage because my wooden beads were gold. The top was gold, the little details. So I really hope that you are inspired to go ahead and grab your football reef forms and have fun creating your own cages. Thanks for watching. Bye.